Okay, so this is the third time I've tried to record this video. The first time I tried to use my old S7 phone and, um, well, I didn't know. It only records for 10 minutes at a time. And, well, yeah, it, it just cut off right as I was recording. At the best part, too. The pour, the resin pour. It's not like I was in frame anyways, but, you know, it's okay. And then the second time I used a different camera and, well, it just looked like doo-doo. So let's not talk about that. Anyways, gonna make these resin rulers today. I got some flowers, got my pigments, my mica powder pigment, my glitter, and I will be using a three to one resin today. And we'll be using a scale today to measure out the resin. So, let's do this for the third time, shall we? First, we're going to measure out our resin. I usually use a scale because it's a little bit easier to get the correct ratios, considering that this is a 3 to 1 resin, which I'm using a 3 to 1 because it creates less bubbles, or rather it releases them easier, and it will dry harder, which is ideal for a ruler. And here, I think I ended up using about 30 grams of part A and then 10 grams of part B. And then you just have to mix it until it's not cloudy anymore. Now that everything's all mixed together, it's time for the best part, the pour. Now I use this alcohol ink to drip it into the mold instead of directly into the resin so I could get more of a wispy, nice like marble effect sort of, which I kind of liked. It kind of worked. It's alright. And then you just pour and it'll disperse and go everywhere and yeah, you can just do that. And this, this right here, that's why everyone tells you to wear gloves. Hmm, yeah, it's nasty. And in a second, I'm gonna wonder, why am I sticky? Ah, yep, yeah, there it is. That's why I'm sticky. It's nasty. Don't do that. Something I have noticed after making this mold three times is you really need to clean the edges of the mold off because if there's any resin after it's cured, it will stick to the mold really bad and it'll actually rip it a little bit or you have to actually like cut it away 
to get your finished piece out and that's that's not what anyone wants that's just not so good i mean it's good practice to just wipe down your edges anyways but now you just really have to if you want to be careful not to rip your mold Yes, I finally noticed the glitter, but it's been around almost every single frame of the video so far. I forgot all about it. Oh well.
Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, you need to pop the bubbles on the surface just to make sure that your finished piece won't have as many bubbles in the end. I use a torch, but a lot of people say you're not supposed to do that, but I like it because, you know, fire. But you can use alcohol and a spray bottle and just spritz it on top and it'll get rid of your bubbles just as well. I just, you know, fire. Now that everyone's out of their molds looking real purty, I'm going to use this alcohol ink in a rose gold color to paint the numbers on. I just mixed a little bit of the alcohol ink with just a little bit of normal alcohol so that it would just water it down and, you know, you cheap. You save it. <laughs> but anyways, you just take a brush and you just kind of smush it all over the place and then wipe it off with a paper towel and then that will stick in the digits of the ruler so you'll have nice, pretty and I mean you can leave them blank too if you really want to but I preferred them with the color on them just because it gives it a little extra well color <laughs> probably goes without saying, but don't add too much alcohol to your uh, alcohol ink there or else it'll just, it won't work. And you're going to be frustrated and then you have to do it all over again and just end up wasting things instead of actually being cheap and saving on product. So no, don't do that. Now I'm not quite sure where this lighting change came from because my setup stayed the exact same throughout this whole thing but we're just gonna wipe off the excess paint with a little alcohol wipe and then you're just you're done now you can just sit and rejoice and admire their beauty now they turned out really great I went a little heavy-handed on the pink pigment unfortunately so the flowers are a little hard to see in some spots and the gold got a little carried away but I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I think they look really nice and overall I really liked them actually. It was a fun experience even though I did it three times but it was fun regardless and I would definitely recommend getting this mold if you are into stationery I guess because I'm really into stationery. Stationery is great. Anyway I definitely recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description below for anyone interested in getting it. And that's it. We're done. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day.